Hey, now, uh, today I want to talk a little bit about a topic that really started kind of bothering me uh, the last few months, now, you know, and, 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 and the more, the more engaged um, we try to be uh, with the NGOs, the more I start seeing things that really kind of blow my mind, but at the same time, you know, it makes sense. You know, if, if you look carefully, if you look carefully of all the big NGOs uh, that exist in Africa for the last 20 years, and you calculate the amount of money that they have uh, spent, you know, um, in Africa to so-called having an impact and, and, and trying to help some of the low-income people. It's amazing how much money goes in back into their pocket. Now, that's no news. The sad part is we've been able as a company at ARAC we've been able to have much bigger impact with a much smaller capital than some of the multi-million dollar NGOs. And yet, um, when, you try to, when you try to do business with them or partner with them, they're very reluctant because it makes sense. I mean, why would they raise money to partner with a local entity that can solve the problem at a much lower cost than they've been accustomed to. What do they win on that? Nothing. There is no win for them. Because at the end of the day, you know, the, the donor that gives uh, all this money to those uh, NGOs can say, well, you know, if this guy, if this entity, if this local entity is able to solve that problem for let's say 100,000 instead of a million dollars, but I, I still have to give you a million dollars for you to give him or her a hundred thousand dollars. Why, why, why am I not just giving him the money directly and actually I can give him a million dollars and have a much bigger impact. So that's crazy. We need to make sure we understand. And for those who don't know that, or don't believe that, then you're a fool. But NGOs, or most NGOs, not all of them, because I, I met some great ones, uh, especially the team. But NGOs are in a business of grants, raising as much grants to fund whatever program they have. When that money is gone, they're gone. A private entity, a social impact private entity is different, especially the local one. We're here to solve a problem or multiple problems and be there for the long run. It's that simple. So that's the biggest difference between the two. If you look at an NGO and a, 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 a social impact enterprise, we're not here until the project is over. No, we're here to build a sustainable business for the long run and solve a problem at the same time or multiple problems. And fundamentally, I've been in meeting with NGOs and they tell you, well, um, you know, how big is this project going to cost? Okay, um, if you come to them and say you, you have funding or you can find the funding and you want to work with them, they'll jump on you like, like, like honey on a bee, you know. But if you come and ask for a partnership and you share the expenses and all, then nah, you, you're dead in the water. And I really blame the leadership of those NGOs. I mean, it's that simple. The challenge what's happening or what's, what's going on is the change is happening. I, I honestly can tell you with full confidence, social impact enterprise is here to stay, will grow, and will take a lot of the funding from the NGOs. And it's not a competition. I mean, at the end of the day, we need to focus on the problem. Unfortunately, too many of us, 
wants to focus on the money and and focus on how much money they can get from grants and all those things but a real social impact enterprise will focus on the problem and um, and we're here to stay and for those NGOs that don't get it that don't understand that partnership is the next step will not survive the future you know it, it's just that simple they will not see in the next five to ten years they're not going to be able to survive because this thing of living of donation for a year or 24 months program and then you have move to the next problem it's it's done it's over i think there needs to be a partnership where it takes two you know it takes two entity one that solved the problem and and partner and the other one stay in the long run and that's some of the things we're working on with some of our great partners actually we're in the process of partnering one of the biggest NGO in the world that will be a game changer where we can show that NGO with social impact enterprise is the future but I think government also can play a huge role into this because Yes, a lot of the NGO money comes from overseas, but the way they disperse that money on the ground, I mean, governments have a lot to say about that. And I think government also need to impose that NGOs work with local social enterprises. I mean, listen, who knows best about our problem than the people that live in the problem or live in that country. Who knows best? We do. You know, if you're trying to solve a problem in Rwanda, for example, then you're going to talk to Rwandese about how the best way to do it. We're not, we, we, the mistake we always make is we're trying to import solution that are not adaptable, but still because it's foreign money, we just say, okay. But anyway, those policies are above my, my pay grade. So. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that one. But that's my take on those things, man. You know, I I know for a fact that as as um, the SDG goal 17, I think, partnership is key. Partnership is key on all levels, all levels. B to B, B to C, B to G, whatever you wanna call it. Partnership is key. Government and private sector already understood that. Now, NGO needs to get that one too.